Hello there, I'm Christine and welcome to my channel. In today's video we have stars and cards and I thought we would look at one or two transits in the tarot and working with the energies of the moment with that. I'm just going to change channels, cameras with this so you can see the cards as we talk through it and let's see how we go. Okay, <laughs> that's great. Here we have Mars in Capricorn, which is the three of coins, and we have Jupiter in Pisces. And Mars in Capricorn is sextile in Jupiter in Pisces at seven degrees. And with that, it brings this can-do attitude. You can do anything and you can achieve anything. So anything that you sort of wanted to, um, you've been thinking about, oh, I've been wanting to do that and how will it go? Now is the time to, you can just push forward with that Mars energy and use that Jupiter, um, blow it all up. <laughs> yes, I can do it. Energy to achieve what it is that you are wanting to achieve. And those are, that is the cards for that. So we also have the Sun conjunct. I'll just check that they're all right for it. We have the Sun, they're over there, they're good. We have the Sun conjunct. Cap, um, the, sun, the sun is conjunct in Aquarius energy. So there's so many planets in Capricorn at the moment, so it's easy to sort of zip into that quite easily with that. We have a strong blend of energies with these two, which actually work that way. Um, and the sun is the planet of vitality and also a card of vitality, and that's that whole breakthrough come through, yes, I can do, which sort of will link in with these energies here. That's going well. And um, you'll find that you have the Saturn world card is ruled by the Saturn, um, by Saturn and that reflects, if you see, she's looking back and say, well, yeah, hold on a minute. There's decisions to be made. There's work to be done. And this will test our commitments because with the sun's energy it's shining that light on I can do I can go and you've got Mars there going yes 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 we can do and we know we're going to get there because of that energy happening there and we only have this sun and Saturn conjunction and a conjunction is when platins come together and sort of um, merge their energies if you like which is nice like we're putting them slide by side and this is a yearly opportunity to birth a new project which is what um, the world card is all about it's about yes a cycle is ending but hey something new is going it's that one door shuts and another door opens so there might be things that you're thinking well I'm not going to do that you might be um, thinking I'm now going to do that and embrace a new approach or a new thing to do or perhaps just I'm going to add that to what I was going to do and this is a one a great opportunity to do this because Saturn is all about projects where the projects go work commitment and there's an element of mastering quiet required we have eight planets <laughs> in Capricorn at the moment which is why I was sort of going oh what are those planets in Capricorn I'm just going to look at my uh, chart for the moment we have um, we have Mercury in Capricorn Venus in Capricorn and Mars in Capricorn we have Saturn in Pisces we have Jupiter in Pisces we have um, Neptune in Pisces and we have Pluto in Capricorn and the nodes are in Taurus and Scorpio so there's a lot of Capricorn energy there there's eight lots of Capricorn energy that we are dealing with and that can be that yes can't when with Mars driving can do work 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 I know if I work I will achieve it and these cards will reflect what it is that you need to do and you will achieve and the better you feel you will achieve because you doing that I'm happy to do what, it ne what needs to be done and put that energy and ethic into it to be able to get achieve your goals with that um, we do achieve more when we are balanced and grounded and I'll just move those there so we can sort of see them and it's important also that we maintain the connection to our soul and so if you look at the moon 
this is the card I had on my desk. I haven't had it in my microphone. We have the moon here. And the moon is moving from, depends where you are, from Pisces into Aries. Here, where I am in the world, it's already moved into Aries at four degrees. Um, but it could still be in Pisces. It's sort of going along like such. And so this is the Queen of Wands is a Pisces and um, Aries card energy together. And I, I have this exercise that you can participate in if you want. Um, and it, is a, it will help us if we feel I've got to achieve this, I've got to go. But I also know if I'm feeling that sense of overwhelm because of all that drive, of wanting to get it done and we can help to feel better and we can see the world as it is and we can achieve more that we want to achieve if we are grounded and balanced but also keeping that connectedness to our soul so we're not just doing and achieving for the sake of doing and achieving and I know you know what I mean there so with the beautiful Queen of Wands, if you'd like to participate in this exercise, it's a short exercise that I think can help. And if you just want to find yourself somewhere to sit where you won't be distracted for a few moments, and it's really good to actually do this each day, to sit quietly for a few moments each day. And as you sit there, focus on what you're sitting on your feet on the floor and gently breathe in and out breathing in through the nose and out through the mouth and do that one more time breathing in through the nose and out through the mouth thinking what you're sitting on and thinking where your feet are placed until you feel grounded and I'd like you to now go to that creative part of your mind and picture an energy that is calm and peaceful and positive a healing and spiritual energy and just imagine that creative part of your mind that it's now that energy streaming into you from all sides or around you and as it comes up through the feet through the sacral space through the throat the heart and the third eye chakra and it gently turns around it can also go up or stream out of you in all directions. The whole cycle is one that is self-supporting, offering creativity, communication and insights. Like the sun, moon and stars, you become a luminary force Force, source of creative energy. Like the sun, moon and stars, you are connected to the creative source. And through that creativity, you can gently and calmly achieve what it is that you want to achieve. So just pause for a moment. And just stay with this feeling for as long as you wish. And when you're ready, come back. That's right. I'm just going to change my cameras back now as you're coming back gently and in your own time. And I hope you're feeling well. I'd like to thank you for watching today. 
your energy is important and I look forward to seeing you on the next video. Bye for now.